acronym WPK in the forums that I frequent. And it stands for wallet phone keys. And there seems to be interested in a bag just for your daily essentials. Something that you can carry your wallet, your phone, your keys, and anything else you might need to tackle the day. It really resonated with me because I've always been, and I know a lot of us are, a person that always carried their stuff, their essentials in their pockets pant pockets, jacket pockets, wanted something that could centralize all those items and was still small, sleek, and didn't stick out too much. When I formed that concept, I thought, wow, like what if we had a little bag that just carried your essentials, didn't stick out too much, worked with everything that you wore or everything that you had on you, and that was kind of the concept for Phantom. Um, the look is a big one. I wanted the Bantam to stand out amongst our smaller bags. The reverse x pack fabric really created an interesting visual without it being too disruptive. And I tend to gravitate to products that stand out and look different without being too loud usually. The size also helped set it apart from other bags. The Bantam is big enough to tackle your daily essentials and more without being too bulky. And lastly, like, how the bag attaches to you help make the Bantam more dynamic and versatile. The Bantam adapts well to my carry needs throughout the day. I wear a crossbody usually like this and close to my body. I clip it to O-rings inside of my Cynic at times. And I also use the belt passenger to attach it to other bags that you know have that option. So the versatility of it really, really sets it apart from other things that we do. I've explored a couple of options and I know that we have some fabric options that we could use to make the Bantam in. I've actually sampled a few through the exploration of the sampling, found what kind of works and what doesn't. As we move forward, we'll try to decide on what works best and you know what we could ultimately make it in. So when I first started exploring the Bantam and its shape, I settled on ballistic. This is actually one of the first uh, samples. Originally it had two pieces on the dome because I was trying to center the zipper. I thought, you know, that could work well. But as I got more into the project, I found that really having one piece of dome for the zipper would work best. I decided to change the construction to have the dome at the back and the zipper sewed to the front of the bag. And that seemed to work out better for production and also for construction of the bag and how it worked. The ballistic was definitely considered for the Bantam. It's a good fabric, but it adds a lot more rigidity to it more so than the X-Pack. With that, the next kind of version was making it out of X-Pack. This X-Pack sample that we got from the wrap, it was my first time really sewing X-Pack, so I wasn't sure what to expect when making the sample. Kind of a learning curve as well. I also tried new handles on the back to find different ways to attach it to yourself. That was big with me. That was this sample, which I wasn't too happy with. And I also made it in something lighter. Halcyon bag. It was okay, it was just not enough structure. We went from one extreme to the other. It was like too much structure, too little structure, and we didn't want it to be a floppy bag. We ultimately settled for having X-Pack on both sides and then doing a 525 ballistic as the rails and on the top and the bottom. When I found the X-Pack fabric, it didn't really need a lining. I was trying to keep the bag light. I was finding that the lining was adding too much structure to the bag. I wanted it to be more pliable, you know, not as structured. I wanted to keep the bag minimal. I wanted to focus on the items that you carry the most throughout the day. That really determined the organization that was inside of the Bantam. There's a place for your phone, there's a place for your keys and your wallet, as well as some space for other things you might pick up throughout the day. I wanted you to be able to see the logo from wherever you are. The size that I ultimately settled on wasn't too big, wasn't too small to me, and you were able to see it. You know, if a person's far, I want you to be able to see what a Tom Bin bag can be. My favorite way is definitely sling, so I, I most of the time wear it this way. When I'm riding the bike, it's great because then I can access whatever I need quickly. Sometimes I also like to weave it through the back part 
it on a bag, like you weave it through the, the strap and just kind of carry it like slung, I guess, with another bag to the side. That's really fun. Or if I'm carrying a backpack, I like to sling it through the, uh, the waistband and wear it that way. Most of the time, you're going to catch me wearing it this way. I think it's been a really fun exploration in the project, finding different ways to carry the bag, finding the different sizes to make the bag in, and getting into the work was really interesting. And I'm glad a cool product came out of it. We got some fun things cooking right now. I'm definitely exploring different things that we haven't seen before or haven't been a focus. And I can't talk too much about them, but you know, hopefully soon I can leak something and get your guys' uh, conversation going.